Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigerian news and all the news in details. MOB chases away Oshun Monarch, seals palace. The police in Oshun confirm the development saying no life was lost during the incident. Governor of Oshun State, Boyegao Yetola, MOB on Monday reportedly attacked Oba Olatunde Falabi the Akire of Ikire, Oshun, where they allegedly chased away the king and seal of the palace. The news agency of Nigeria gathered that Oba Falabi was taken into safety by military personnel who rescued the king from the MOB who were on a mission to forcefully evict him. None learnt that the youth were protesting the non-implementation of a Supreme Court judgment which declared Oba Falabi continued stay on the throne as illegal. The police spokesperson in Oshun State, Apalola, Apalola Yemisi, confirmed the development to newsmen and added that no life was lost during the incident. The battle for the throne started in, 18, in 1987 after the demise of the former traditional ruler Oba Oseni Oyegunle. Nan also reported that when the process of appointing a new monarch started, one of the five ruling houses, Aketula, presented a candidate, Tajudin Olarewaju, in line with the Akire of Ikere Chieftaincy Declaration in 1958, before the process of Mr. Olarewaju's installation would be completed. Two ruling houses, Ladekon and Lambeloye, went to court to challenge the inclusions of Aketula in the ruling houses as an Oshun High Court, Ileife, where the matter was instituted. Consequently, stopped Mr. Olari Waju's in installations as the monarch while the incumbent Oba Olatunde Falabi was installed in May 1993. Even though he lost at the appeal court, Ibado, Mr. Olari Waju proceeded to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court, in its judgment in April 11, 2014, affirmed that Aketula was one of the ruling houses as provided in the 1958 Akiri of Ikiri Shiftansi Declaration. The Supreme Court also heard that in view of the evidence in record, it shows that the 1958 declaration in respect of the Akire of Ikire Shiftansi stool has not been amended or appealed. Following the judgment, the Hinkubrant monarch approached an Osho High Court, praying it to restrain the state government from disposing him because he had not committed any offense warranting his removal. He also pleaded with the court to restrain the state gov governors, the commissioners of justice, local governments, and shiftancy affairs from disposing it while its incumbency subsisted. Justice Abdul Karim of Oshun High Court, in his judgment of June 29, 2020, however, said that Falabi could no longer occupy the stool based on the 1958 Akira Declaration and the rotational procedure contained therein. Well, so viewers, what do you think about this? What is your own take about uh, this? I think maybe the matter is still pending at the Akure High uh, Appeal Court. Because why do the people want to take the law into their hands in the first place? And also, even if judgment is in their favor, they must wait to its logical conclusion and let the law courts complete their job. It is as simple as ABC. Because irrational behavior doesn't fit the, uh, the, the Omar Loabi, which we have. It doesn't fit the responsible person that we have. You know, people were saying that let him vacate the throne and allow peace reign. Africans would rather die on the throne than allow peace to reign. That is, that is the problem that we have, that we Africans have. We rather sit down there. Even if we want to leave the throne, we make sure that the throne will now get to one of our family members. That is where the problem lies. You know, people said that uh, uh -huh. since some years ago, isn't this time, this time should happen. Let us be in peace and love. And I think traditional rulers should be appointed by the larger community that being governed, but not government. We are supposed to know the right thing to do, and we are supposed to do the needful thing. 
from the beginning it's just that we're just praying for peace to reign in our country each tribes you know that peace is not there that unity is not still there i don't know why but may god help us injustice is all over the place criminalities is all over the place among the black people i don't know why we cannot come together as one and see ourselves as one You know, people say traditional rulers should mind their business and abstain from politics. But they are there because of Ujukukuro, because of their selfish, selfish hearts, because of what they want to get. You know, they are just there because of their selfishness. Somebody said that, well, what I know is that the traditional rulers were continuously having problems till the day they realize who they are. Immediately, the traditional rulers involved themselves in politics problems started. Yoruba, now something else entirely. This is the beginning of the end of every form of bad and mediocre leadership and leaders and leaders who have two who have two main selfish ambitions, which are to oppress the people, to greedily convert the common patrimony of the people, and they should continually be disgraced by the grace of God. So viewers, what do you think about this? What is your own take? Kindly drop your comment in the comment section below. For those who subscribe, we want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you. If you're yet to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will always be the first person to watch our latest news anytime, any day. God bless you. Thank you. Stay safe.